political struggle, the rivalries and personal hatreds which divide us, must not allow the Republic to abandon to a cruel destiny the Consul Lucilius and his legions, which are at present exhausted after the long struggle against the Sarmatians. The treasure of the city of Tigranes, which Lucilius was about to ship to Rome, has been captured. We must strike without pity against the Sarmatians. Let us punish those who are responsible. The loss of the treasure of Sarmatia disturbs you, it would appear. But we must not forget, above all, the sad destiny of our soldiers, tortured, massacred on their tortured flesh. This was what was impressed. The malefic face of a mysterious divinity thirsting for blood. We must avenge them. We must send reinforcements to Lucilius. The Orient is full of these symbols. This is more frightful than the others. Sarmatia, Pontus, I've lived there many years. Lands of mystery, of human sacrifices, and magic and poisons, and every other evil magic that will reap its victims in the remaining armies of the Council of Lucilius, unless we quickly send him reinforcements and the aid he asks of us. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Senate vote was against sending reinforcements. The only thing we have succeeded in obtaining is that you be sent in mission to Sarmatia. I in mission to Sarmatia? Yes, Gaius. It's necessary in order to discover what happened to the treasure of Tigranes. Your presence there will be precious for Council Lucilius. But why send me? I'm only a centurion. It requires a praetor for a similar mission, not a soldier. We must give Lucilius loyal men if we want to salvage what little can still be salvaged. When must I leave? Immediately. You'll find fresh horses along the road. And a trireme awaits you at Brindisi. I obey the Senate. Of that we were certain. The object of your mission must remain a secret, even for the Praetor Letitius. You must not forget you will find yourself among people who are unfriendly, made hostile by the High Priest Adderbal, endowed with mysterious powers, a sort of magician. I shall ask help of the god Jupiter. I'll sacrifice a lamb. May he protect me from this Adderbal and his magic. Goodbye, Gaius. Goodbye. The gods protect you. <laughs> High priest of the goddess of gold have been entrusted by the kings with the continuation of the war. The goddess will lead and protect us, will resurrect our dead enemies from the earth, transform them into mute, invincible allies. To you, chieftains of the oldest and bravest Sarmatian tribe, is given the privilege of sealing with your blood the agreement which binds us in the total extermination of our most deadly foe, the Roman legions. Adabal. Many moons have passed since we left our villages to follow you in this war. We thought we were going to wage open battle, fighting with sword against the Roman sword, as becomes genuine warriors. Instead, we've seen nothing but intrigue, while prisoners have been savagely tortured, and your foul monsters even robbed the corpses of fallen enemy soldiers for your secret and evil practices. This is not the way my men like to fight. I'll not seal this pact with my blood, nor will any of my men have anything to do with your malefic arts and your witchcraft unworthy of warriors. Syrian. Azir's just expressed a thought. Who is with him? Whoever is with him, go to him. You're alone, Azir. Let him go. Without our support, his days are numbered. The fate of his tribe is set. The moment has come when the face of our goddess will be revealed to you. She awaits the oath of blood.
goddess, daughter of Osiris. Hear, you new believers. From this moment on, your faithful warriors, your slaves, grant them a sign that will encourage their belief in you. Let them know you will assist them in their war against the invader. The goddess welcomes you. Only from this time forward may you call yourselves her sons. Satiro, je vais croire vraiment que tu as dû mentir quand tu m'as dit que tu avais été en Arménie. Écoute-moi bien. Si jamais tu te trompes de route une autre fois, à peine arrivé au campement du Silio, je te fais mettre en prison. À vrai dire, nous avons bien trop marché la nuit. Et alors forcément, je ne m'y retrouve plus. Moi, je suis un soldat, je ne suis pas une chauve-souris. Dans ce pays, ma foi, tout se ressemble. J'aurais déjà passé par ici. Mais regarde un peu dans quelle chose trappe nous avons été nous fourrés. Et si les Arméniens veulent nous attaquer Oh, par tous les dieux, tais-toi, Gaillot. Ne les appelle pas, ça porte malheur. Regarde, je crois bien que pour une fois, tu as raison. Regarde-les. Allez, partons, sauvons-nous. Reste tranquille, tout cela est inutile. Prépare-toi à mourir en bon soldat. Ah oui, moi, je ne tiens pas à mourir, et pas même en bon soldat. <rire> these men. They're Romans we took prisoner. What shall we do with them? Set them free and return their horses. But they are Romans, our most deadly enemies. Obey orders. Thank you, but why do you do this? To what do we owe so much generosity? You wouldn't understand, Centurion. I say only that Azir and his men always fight in fair battle. As you Romans do. You are free. Listen, Gaius. Let's go before he changes his mind. Well, I never expected this to happen. Instead of murdering us, he gives us a lecture on our mode of combat and then proceeds to set us free. Guys, this is Asia. It's like guessing a riddle.
Stop! Stop! Where are you going? Who are you? Why don't you answer me? Don't you understand me? Your face is like ice. Let's be on our way. We're wasting time. You follow me with the horses. We'll lose the road again. Did you see which way she went? No, no, I didn't. She vanished as if by magic. Better so, let's go. Now we'll camp here at the edge of the woods. But wouldn't it be better to arrive at Fredo Letitia's house tonight? Be quiet, Satiris. I know what I'm doing. Are you through collecting misery? By now we have nothing left, you teach us. Are you joking by chance? But we have already paid the tribute two times. What more can we do? We are reduced to famine. I'll quickly find a remedy. By sending all the youths to Rome as slaves, then you'll have less mouths to feed. No, Lutetius, be charitable. We will find more gold. Give us a little time. But you mustn't condemn our sons to slavery. Have mercy on us. Mercy? First you must return the treasure you have robbed. The treasure? We had nothing to do with it being robbed. However, I assure you, I will recover it, talent by talent, even though you all die of hard labor and whiplashes. Were I a Roman, I should be ashamed for you. Old fool, seize him! Let him be given a hundred whiplashes! <laughs> Brahma, what's all that noise about? What's happening? They're whipping an old man. Lutetius ordered it. Why didn't you tell me? There's so little amusement here. Who are you to dare oppose my orders? I'm the Centurion Gaius, of the family of Quintilius, envoy of the Senate of Rome. This letter which you bring from the Senate orders me to give you hospitality. But it gives you no right to teach me how to administer justice. If I wish to, I could have this man whipped to death. But you don't wish to. Satyrus, release him. Consider it my gift. 
for your arrival. But remember, if Rome wants the tribute to her, it is not the softest that you'll obtain it from these people. They hate us. They'll hate us even more if we treat them like beasts. They're our enemies. Rama? Rama? Rama! You must come quickly when I call you, understand? Give me the veil. However, if it is really true that the Republic needs gold so desperately, this is all I have, included in the ransom money of these poor people. Go, you are free. You can now return to your homes. Goodbye, Lutetius. We will discuss this question before the Consul Lucilius. One moment, Centurion. Your generosity does not strike with indifference the heart of a woman. My wife, Tuja. I'm sure my husband would be happy if you remained as our guest for a few days. It would be a pleasure to gossip about Rome. It's so many years since we've been there. How can one say no to such beauty? I pray you, come with me. Our palace cannot be compared to those of Rome, but it is one of the most beautiful in Sarmatia. I should have had him put under arrest. That would have been a great mistake. Is it possible you don't understand that whoever is afraid is fated to lose? Evidently, the centurion has been sent here by the Senate with the task of inquiring into the disappearance of the treasure and the massacre of the soldiers who were escorting it. But if this is true, and he succeeds in discovering everything we that we've done... We must behave in such a way as to win him to our side. But how can we? That is something I should like very much to cope with personally. Don't be afraid. I'll make Gaius docile and inoffensive. I know I haven't brought you good news, Sandoval. It is certain that the Centurion was sent here to discover the whereabouts of the treasure of Sarmatia. If the truth were known, we could no longer count on the Titius. Gaius won't live to see the dawn. Oh, let him live. In the hands of Tulia, he'll become a child. I wouldn't be too sure. This Gaius cannot be such a fool. And in love, nothing can ever be sure. That may be true, but... I have means your imagination could never conceive of. Ways to bring him closer to his death. Tonight, Rama is waiting to hear from me. Now go, and don't worry anymore. probablement que je veux te séduire, n'est-ce pas Les désirs d'une femme sont imprévisibles, Gaillot. Explique-moi à quoi je dois cette extraordinaire fortune. Lutésio est bien mon mari, mais uniquement pour le nom. Je l'ai épousé parce que c'était la volonté de mon père, mais... Tu ne crois pas qu'une femme comme moi puisse vraiment renoncer à l'amour Sais-tu bien comme il est triste de vivre aux côtés d'un homme que l'on ne peut aimer, et de plus sur cette terre sauvage où tous les gens le méprisent 
J'ai le droit, moi aussi, d'avoir ma part de bonheur. Pourquoi devrais-je me résigner à vivre ainsi abandonné Tu es si bon, si généreux, tu devrais pouvoir me comprendre. Et pourtant, je sais bien qu'à peine auras-tu terminé ta mission, tu t'en iras. Mais pourquoi parles-tu ainsi de ma mission Pour rien. Mais peut-être pourrais-je t'aider. Non, je n'ai pas besoin que tu me dises quoi que ce soit. Il suffira que je puisse demeurer près de toi pour faire tout ce qu'il me sera possible selon ton bon plaisir. Je ferai ce que tu voudras, Gaillot. Gaillot est un homme qui peut être dangereux. Il est fort et puissant. Et n'oublions pas Azer. Il pourrait bien s'unir contre nous. Nous nous sommes trompés. Nous devrions le supprimer. Je vois Rama qui s'approche d'ici. Tulia aura sans doute appris quelque chose sur la mission du centurion Gaillot et elle nous le dira. mustn't be afraid of me. Why didn't you stop for me? I wanted to ask you something. We've met already, you remember, don't you? Yes, I think so. But so much time has passed. No, it wasn't so long ago. Try to remember. A clearing with a giant oak tree, and then you suddenly disappeared. I must. I mustn't remember. I'm so afraid. But who is it you're afraid of? It almost seems as if someone held you subject to his will. But who is it? Perhaps the one who gave you this? You must have faith in me. I do not belong to myself, Gaius. My mind, my will. My life belonged to a ruthless goddess. You must let me go, Gaius. I am not afraid of this goddess, and I shall free you from her power. I felt attracted to you from the first moment I set eyes on you. Thank you. 
welcome, Gaius. Then you must be Aderbal. The Aderbal everybody fears. Let me out of here. In time. Where's Rama? She will receive the recompense she merits. As all those who dare disobey the goddess. Release her. But you'll be destroyed by your own madness. Rama is no longer slave to the goddess, nor to your evil magic. Your malefic arts are powerless to do anything against her, or against anyone who knows how to resist them. Bring Rama to me. I would like to demonstrate how stupid you are, soldier. You call me mad. Rama will walk a bed of flames unharmed. That will prove my power. What you're about to see, Centurion, I doubt that you will preserve your no. arrogance. No! I won't! No! Let me go! No! Let me go! found out? Why did you insist he remain? Where's he gone? Why? Isn't he here? No, he's not here, and he'll probably come back with Lucilius' soldiers. It's the end, don't you understand? But I'll confess. 
I'll tell everything. Je dirais que c'est toi qui m'as entraîné dans toutes ces intrigues avec Interpal. Je ne suis pas coupable, moi. Je ne veux pas finir entre les mains de quelques bourreaux pour ton bon plaisir. Car c'est bien toi qui m'as obligé à trahir. Toi, pour satisfaire tes ambitions. Sois donc maudite. C'est toi qui dois payer, pas moi. Ah non, j'en peux plus. Ah non, j'en peux plus, moi. Je veux tout dévoiler. Dès demain, j'irai voir Lucilio. Oui, oui. C'est promis. À présent, calme-toi, repose-toi. Nous en reparlerons demain. Oui, moi j'ai compris immédiatement que tu avais été envoyé ici par Rome dans un but bien précis. Mais quel est-il Je veux connaître tes intentions. Écoute-moi bien, Romain. Je suis encore prêt à te laisser libre si tu me dis bien tout ce que je veux savoir. N'importe quel Romain qui serait à ma place ne parlerait pas. Mais toi, tu parleras. Tu me diras vraiment tout ce que je veux savoir lorsque tu auras vu quels moyens je vais employer avec toi. like them, a soldier of death. O oh, goddess, daughter of the night star, will that this man be yours? <laughs> Your ridiculous goddess doesn't frighten me. Kill me if you wish, I shall be avenged. By whom? Lutetius? <laughs> you haven't understood. He's already mine. I bought him with the Sarmatian treasure your Senate was waiting for. You have bought Lutetius, but you cannot buy me. Maybe you will be the very man who decides the fall of Rome. yesterday in battle. Today the goddess will accept him into her legions and he will fight against his old comrades. Hmm. A dead soldier cannot fight against anyone. soldier. In drinking your blood I have given it life. It now flows through your veins. Rise! Look at him. Mm. He 
is alive, yet he has no will. He is the perfect warrior, for he is immortal. No one could ever kill him twice. My almighty goddess, condescend now to accept this new warrior in your silver bodyguard. Forces of darkness, Spirit of evil, I call you forth to witness. Grow forth now, show you the breath of life and death. Your will has been fulfilled. Now we will see. Speak, or the eye of the goddess will search you out as well. I will not speak, never! For the moment, I've calmed Lutetius, but we'll have to kill him. Why? So you can get rid of a husband and an accomplice all at the same time. You must realize he's a danger to both of us. Lutetius is afraid. Afraid especially of Gaius. Gaius? Was he not a victim of your seduction? He's gone away. With another woman. Who? Rama. It's impossible. He couldn't have preferred a slave to me. If what you say is true, he deserves the most atrocious death. I couldn't agree with you more. But unfortunately, someone has protected him from my magic. I must wait for the new moon to erase the sign of the goddess from his arm. There are other ways. I'll find them. Without arousing the suspicion of anyone. Do you want to see him? Come.
matter, Bob? I want that man. <laughs> Why? To make him the instrument of our revenge. It will all be resolved quite simply. Don't you trust me? Of course, I trust all the trade women who seek revenge. What are you planning to do? Arrange for someone to set him free. Rama, for example. I shall wait for him to come back to my house. But this time, he will not be treated as a guest. All right. Take him. But wait one moment. I will give you a means to kill him whenever you wish. You see this. All you need do is stab the figure to end Gaius's life. You are to take this box with you. If he should try to escape, kill him. Rama. far away. You must arrest Lutetius before he escapes to safety. I'll give you an escort of trusted men. Agreed? I thank you, Azir. But you must watch Adderbal. I entrust her to you, Azir. I shall take care of her as though she were my child. Do not worry. Ando, from this moment you are responsible for her safety. You will defend this girl's life with your own. Why are you here? And how did you get in? Did anyone see you? No, no one saw me enter. Adderbal sent me to find out if Gaius was already here and what had happened. By virtue of the powers which the Senate and the people of Rome have given me, I order you to consign to me your sword and the seal. From this moment, you are no longer Roman Praetor in Sarmatia. You are dismissed. Tell Adderbal that everything will go as expected. Listen. You who represented the justice of Rome in this conquered land. On what proof? I mention one. The disappearance of the treasure of Sarmatia, which you and Adderbal have stolen. It's useless to deny it. Only with a full confession can you hope for clemency from the Senate. Yes. Yes, you are right.
Let's go. Quick, hurry. Écoutez, soldats, un affreux délit qui jette la honte et l'opprobre sur nous tous a été commis par le centurion Gaillot, le prêteur Lutetio, qui représentait la loi de Rome sur cette terre lointaine, a été lâchement abattu, tandis que sur ce bûcher s'envole en cendres la vénérable dépouille du malheureux prêteur Lutetio. Moi, je vous promets solennellement que le coupable sera puni. J'ai donné des ordres formels et précis à tous vos supérieurs pour que soit détruit le camp d'Azère où le misérable Gaillot a trouvé refuge. Ces mesures de répression me répugnent à moi qui suis un soldat. Mais nous ne pouvons pas permettre qu'il existe une tribu arménienne qui puisse donner asile à un traître qui a osé bafouer l'étendard de notre patrie. Welcome, 
contaminate this woman. She is a priestess of the goddess. Hazu's camp has been destroyed by the soldiers of Lucilius. Destroyed? What about Rama? This is the only trace of her. And the others? There was no one left. I must go immediately to Lucilius. I must inform him about what is happening. Are you really sure this is not the fruit of your imagination? Imagination? Mm. What I have told you I have seen myself. Adderbal is our mortal enemy. For months I wait for reinforcements from Rome. And they sent me a visionary who wants me to give battle against dead men. But we know Lutetius is a traitor. Hmm. The Praetor Lutetius had a lovely wife, Tulia. You know her, huh? don't you? Of course. Lovely. Virtuous. More virtuous than you would have wished. What are you driving at? That it was you who killed Lutetius. Because he tried to defend the honor of his wife. To cover up, you invent fantastic stories of witchcraft and accused Lutetius of betraying to the enemy. I have proof. And what is your proof? I shall have Tulio repeat what I have just said. Not one more word could I add to what I have just heard. Hand me your sword, Gaius. The absolute lack of news of our legions which reside over our distant province of Sarmatia seems like an evil portent for our banners and for our soldiers and perhaps for the glory and very existence of Rome. But I can assure you all that quite soon our troops will leave the cities and valleys of fortified Metapontus to reach Sarmatia by forced marches.
Alzir. Gaius, you're a lie. But why are you here? I was made prisoner. They destroyed our camp. I was in another prison when they brought me here. I'm accused of having helped you assassinate the Praetor Lutetius. Well then, we are doomed to wait for the end together. Lucilius has fallen in the trap. He believed Tullia, not me. A consul of Rome is forbidden to believe in magic. A consul of Rome cannot believe in fantasy. He must believe only in what he can feel, see and touch. Well, Lucilius will end up like us. No, we must not surrender to fate. We must get out of this prison. Only you can save the reinforcements which Rome has sent to Lucilius. Reinforcements? How did you know that? I still have my informers, even in here. And they keep me well informed. I saw them. Many thousands. They come from all the Orient. I've traveled three days and three nights to warn you. You disappoint me, Syrian. Tell me. Have you lost all faith in my power? Hmm? I will convert the desert sands into rock. The sun into snowstorms. No, there will be no rest for those men. Wind and snow will blind and scatter them in a march of death. It was you who obtained it, Adderbald. It is your will. Whatever you command is the only thing that counts. Oh? What else would you have? The life of Rama. Uh -huh. Rama! You still love that Roman. I only want revenge. Revenge is love, Tulia. I cannot give you Rama yet. You see, I still need her. Here the poison is contained. Here the sweet death is kept. Tomorrow you will present Lucilius and his generals my vestal virgin and they will never wake again. But it's terrible. War itself is terrible. But I must defeat the armies which Rome has sent against me. And they are our enemies. Is this a dead man you wanted? Yes. Here, this gold is for you. I shall give him a worthy burial. He was a brave man. Do whatever you want. Now take him away. Tomorrow I'll take care of you in the same way. You're a 
arrival has brought me the favor of the gods. In Rome, they finally grasp the seriousness of the situation, and reinforcements are now a few hours' march from here. I am happy for Rome, and I am also happy for you. Tonight, I'll give a banquet to celebrate the event. If you'll give me travel passes, I shall send you my most beautiful and youngest slaves. I'm sure they'll contribute much to the success of the banquet. Mm, all the travel passes you want when it comes to beautiful girls. Give me their names and I shall have them prepared immediately. Never will a warrior's death be so sweet. When does the feast begin? At sundown. Here is the travel pass. Rama. Opal. Diana. They must leave immediately to arrive in time. I'll remain here. Lucilius wanted me to be present at the banquet, but how could I in my role of inconsolable widow? I really wonder. If I were in your place, I never would have denied myself the pleasure of seeing them die one by one. Now go, I must pray to the goddess. My army of corpses is about to face the Roman legions. Are you sure she knows something about Rama? Of course, the monsters always obey her. Come, let's go. This bracelet belongs to Rama. I recognize it. How did you get it? Bring that torch. We'll see if the flame will loosen her tongue. No! 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 Come on, freak! I know everything! I know everything! Don't talk to me! I know everything! Oh, no, no, no! And be quick! I took it from Rama! You killed her, evil hag! No! She's alive. She's alive. Il n'en est au campement de Lucilio, en même temps que les autres, pour qu'elle puisse égayer la nuit des Romains et après les empoisonner. Je veux connaître tous les projets d'Adirbal. Prends garde à toi, Gaio. Ce merveilleux pouvoir qui a pu jusqu'à ce jour te sauver d'une mort affreuse va bientôt finir. Dès ce soir, ce sera la nouvelle lune et c'est sa propre lumière qui effacera de ton bras ce signe magique. Tu redeviendras un être vulnérable et l'œil de la déesse te réduira en cendres. I see them. Here they are. The goddess has made them rise again. They are Romans killed in battle. They will now march against their brothers.
one will be able to stop them. I don't believe in such fables. Only he who has the courage to strike blind the eye of the great goddess will be able to break out of Bill's spell and prevent the defeat of the Romans. But you cannot succeed. No one will succeed. Because no one is able to oppose the will of the goddess. Beware, centurion, or you will die like the Romans, who now revel with the best. I'm going to Adderbell and see what is happening. Meanwhile, you go to Lucilius and warn him. Tell him what we have heard from this old hag. But how can I go to Lucilius? They'll put me in chains. By now they know it was I who let you and Azra escape. Gaius! Gaius, listen to me! The army of ghosts wearing our uniforms has crossed the river and is advancing toward us. Yes, it's true. A black cloud moves with them, as if they were marching by night. There are many thousands who march without making any sound. The cavalry will cross the river and try to stop their advance. The infantry and our Sarmatian allies will take positions in the woods surrounding the valley and keep ready to launch a surprise attack from every side. Attack against our infantry. Gary, tell them to send our cavalry to stop them. We must destroy them. army of your dead forward to victory.
no sound, not even of the hooves of their horses. It's sorcery! Look, the sun darkens at their passage. Honorable, it's now between us two. 
to Hades where you came from.
Consul Lucilius, if you seek Centurion Gaius, he's down there. <laughs> Come, Satyrus, you can stop the comedy. Our adventures are only just beginning. Very well, guys. But give me time to breathe. The Empire mustn't be built by us alone. And besides, what about Rama? She's brave, I assure you. If it hadn't been for her, the Consul and his officers would have all been killed. She saw to it that the vessels never reached the camp of Lucilius. You too are brave. And will be rewarded as Centurion Gaius will be rewarded for the brilliant way in which he carried out a mission on which depended the destiny of so many men in a hostile land. In the name of Rome, I commend you. And in my own name, I thank you. <laughs>